Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a sketchbook tour kind of video with the the um, summer vacation sketches and drawings. Sorry for my background, I'm in my bedroom and stuff is not very tidy right now. <laughs> I'm sorry. But yeah, this is the sketchbook I took took to Dublin. I haven't finished this sketchbook. I'm a little over halfway because I have a couple sketches this on this side. This was the sketch I made to test the supplies before deciding on what to take with me to Dublin. I decided to start sketching in this sketchbook with uh, the supplies I was taking with me to Dublin before the actual trip, like a week before, I was already sketching with the same supplies just to make sure I knew how to use them and I didn't need anything else. This sketch was the first. I think this was right after my history exam, I think, and I needed to relax a bit. <laughs> then these are random shapes I made with the what the tiny watercolor set. I will leave there, I think. And there. <laughs> this is hard to do with both ha both hands. So these two, this corner is where I'm going to leave the link to the video where I made this palette and where I showed you all the tools I was going to take with me to Dublin. I ended up only changing, I think, a brush or I showed you the brush change. I can't remember, but probably I just took exactly the same I showed you. So, random shapes, kind of challenge or relaxing doodling stuff. This, is, this was at my friend's birthday party and they were playing Resident Evil and I don't like it. So I was with my back to the TV with headphones on, just watching them laugh their asses off. And... I was just experimenting with some of the pigments I was using in this palette. I noticed here that the pigments didn't really like this sketchbook. It is 160 GSM paper. It is mixed media, kind of mixed media. So, and I thought, well, I already started the sketchbook. I already cut it in half, so I'm going to use it either way. If you watched the video, that I'm going to link Wait. there, I guess. Um, if you watched that video, then maybe you saw me paint this. This was just a demo with, you know, I think I drew this on location and then painted it here. Then here I went to the museum with my friend. I went to Kalust Gulbenkian Foundation here in Lisbon and I love. First of all, I love the founder's collection. I all founder? Is that how you say it? The person who started the foundation. So I think it would be founder. I'm not sure. Fundador, I guess. So Kalust Gulbenkian himself, when he was still alive, he had a collection that was his personal collection. And then there is a collection that belongs to his foundation that has mainly things that were bought after he died by the people that were still working at the foundation or the foundation itself bought those things but the collection that belonged to him was what I was what I really enjoyed seeing I really like the other collection is great as well but his collection I think for me is more interest interesting because when you see a collection that was put together by a person over the course of his life is a bit different the way they choose things from a collection put together by a foundation with curators and stuff his collection is amazing and he has a lot of Egyptian things and vases, vases and pots and I don't know how to say this. He has a lot of stuff from ancient Egyptians, ancient Greece, ancient... I can't talk today, I'm sorry. But 
a lot of pots and vases and vases and however you want to call them. There's a lot of them. There are a lot of Greek coins which were so beautiful. Unfortunately, they were really small and I couldn't, you know, stay there all day drawing all the details, but it was really cool to see them. And I took a few pictures because you can take pictures there, as long as you don't use flash because materials don't last a lot in light, you know? And then, these are Cães de Fou. I don't know how to say that in English. These are Chinese dog statues. Now I say that wrong. Right. I'm happy with that. But yeah, these are Chinese dog statues. And also at the foundation. I really like those and I, I'm sorry they are not colored, but I really, really like the colors. Search for Cães de Fou. I'm going to write that. And I think maybe you can find them, even if you search in Portuguese. I think like this you can find them. Then I got these... I know these are not in order, I know. But I got this in Dublin and yeah, I swatched them when I got them and I tried. I tried to see how they be behave with um, a water brush and I really like these colors. More for bu bullet journaling than for drawing. If you didn't know, I mean, if you don't know me in real life, you probably didn't know, but I'm quite a bit into jour bullet journaling. Then I had dinner with both my boyfriend and a, a great friend of ours and he was really sweet and paying for my dinner. <laughs> so I, yeah, I was drawing him. He's very cute. And then here I'm in the plane, inside the plane, going to Dublin. Yeah, I think the shape was already there and I just drew over the shape in during the flight. Here, uh, there's a little bit of journaling. My friend was sleeping beside me uh, and I decided to draw her and then um, the buckle your belt slide lit up and I couldn't draw the rest of my friends that were here because, you know, when you have to buckle your, your belt in the plane, you have to put the table up and I didn't want to be drawing on my lap because that's uncomfortable and I didn't feel like doing that. And I paid... I don't know the prices of stuff outside Portugal, okay? But in Portugal you pay about one euro and a half for a kilo of bananas. And I paid 50 cents for one banana in Dublin. And I was really enraged by that uh, and this was the guy that was sitting next to me in the plane uh, he was talking about a few a few places for us to go and check out I think he was German but worked in Dublin so he knew uh, quite a few places to eat and drink and stuff and then here I forgot to journal but I have here the ticket but we went to the Guinness Storehouse one of the days. This was at St. Stephen's Green? Is that how it's called? It's in the middle of Dublin and it is an amazing garden, public garden or park. And I really like it. It is pretty big. And it was... Uh, the building of the park was financed by Mr. Guinness, I think back closer to the to the opening of the first Guinness factory, I think. And then here I was sketching on the plane and then I finished the sketch at home, but basically it is a self-portrait, because why not, of me looking out the window of the plane, because I got a window seat on the way back. 
and here I don't know if you can see it I hope you can I was in a music event and there were no chairs left but I had bought, bought a tiny camping stool I think that's how you call it and some running shorts and a water bottle that is refillable and can go to the washing machine and stuff like that so yeah I was sitting in this thing with these things on my bag drawing this lady so I don't know <laughs> I just wanted to draw something I made some more random shapes and drew over them this time this was with the Sakura the brush pens Atsuru I was getting really tired I was getting sleepy so I drew this person kind of sleeping on their legs a shape I never turned into anything I don't have more here while I was doing that Marco, those Marco Bucci classes I sketched a little bit more with watercolor this is a huge rock at the beach <laughs> you know and then I found this house I really liked the color of and I really liked this this is a this green blob here is a tree I really like as well and I decided to do some black ink sketches which keep going onto this page yeah I had a lot of fun playing with this sketch with these sketches and I also decided to draw and paint a little bit on the beach this didn't go so well because my my paint box fell like this on the sand so my burnt sienna still has a bunch of sand in it and my cerulean blue still has a bit of sand it hurts okay it hurts to let your pretty wet uh, watercolor palette fall in sand okay it hurts this is just a sketch at the beach and then here I was still drawing the same scene I really wanted unfortunately I didn't manage to do that but I have some paper cut in a panoramic uh, shape you know like a really long rectangle and I really wanted to paint this with watercolors and that nice paper I really wanted to do that I didn't get to do that because it was raining a lot of the time then this was a really foggy day and I decided to use the soft colors that watercolor lets you use and here is a drawing I actually made today. While I was waiting for my father I decided to draw a nice building and tree and weird squiggles instead of people <laughs> while I was you know just waiting for my father. Dun -dun. And these are the last sketches in the sketchbook and the last sketch I have to show you is oil pastel. It was done in Mafra, which is a city close to Lisbon. They have a really nice building that was built by a king. I can't remember the name. A Portuguese king. It was a monastery, I think that's how you say it in English. Uh, it is both a palace and a monastery together. And the name is like Monastery Palace or Palace Monastery of Mafra. Just that. <laughs> Uh, it has a beautiful library and I was having lunch like facing the front of the building. I don't know, I really enjoyed making this. And these are abridged marks like you find in textbooks and stuff. And in, text in textbooks this really annoys me. If you want to show me a text, then show me the whole text. Not bits and pieces that won't give me all the information that you want me to talk about those questions and stuff so yeah I decided to use them here <laughs> just as a sneaky thing thank you very much for watching I hope you enjoyed taking a look at my vacation sketchbooks yeah I hope you find this interesting 
If you did, please leave a thumbs up and check out those videos there, you know. Uh, and down in the description box below, you have uh, you will have links as well to those videos and to Marco Bucci. He gives amazing tips. He is an amazing artist, and I just really like his work. See you hopefully next week, I think. I have a few announcements to tell you next week.